All right, so we've shown you how to go ahead and cut the fingers, how to get some shortcuts for cutting the boards down to length and height. Here, these are what I use for box handles. Um, I think it's a pretty nice cut. It's very functional for your hands to fit in there. It's got a deep enough shelf for you to get a good grip, but yet has a nice rounded bottom so you know snow and ice doesn't collect in there and doesn't cause any warpage of the wood here. Um, I used to do this other type of cut. It's perfectly round all the way around in there. Um, it's one of the first handles I tried doing, and that is with a round nose uh, router bit that you get that. The only bad part is this uh, rounded edge up here when you have a lot of weight your fingers want to slip out of there and it's it's really hard on your wrists if you're carrying a lot of heavy boxes so I did change it up and I did find a router bit here if you can see it that has a nice flat base on it. Some people out there, they're using these uh, sanding bits that are larger, but comparatively speaking with what you'll see here, that takes three to five times as long to actually cut one of your handles in using that uh, sanding bit because it just it doesn't rotate as fast and for the grit, actually sanding down a handle in there, it takes forever. Um, the other type that I see is people using a table saw and they'll have um, constructed a rig or a jig I should say that'll cut in there and slowly works it out and again the process just seems to take forever compared to this I just have a, a nice router that I bought and the table here and I've set up uh, stop guides on it so with the front pieces it basically goes in there you slide across and you slide it back out for side pieces, I've made my table adjustable where I can pull this out. On both sides, I've got a block, and it does then a, a longer cut than for the sides, so you can get matching handles. Of course, that fits down pretty snug and securely, so. All right, now I did all this talking with the machine off because this is obnoxiously loud. In fact, I'm going to do what I normally do and put on a little hearing protection because this just after a few cuts, um, your ears will really actually hurt. So.